Howdy folks, my name is Laura and today I'm gonna start making another tiny tool. Yeah, so if you've been around long enough, you know that every year I make a tiny tool and donate it to the Metal Museum auction. And the Metal Museum, if you don't know, is just this really, really awesome museum in Memphis, Tennessee. I've been going there for over 10 years to go to iron pours and different events. It just is really awesome to have a museum that specializes in metalsmithing. You know, they also specialize in blacksmithing, foundry, historic and contemporary art and artifacts. And so they host this event called Repair Days and enveloped in the event is the auction, an art auction. And so the art auction raises money to help them do whatever they need to do. Right now they're actually in the process of renovating a building and moving to a larger space and that's really exciting and so to help support them in that endeavor I like to donate something to help try and raise money <laughs> and so the tiny tools are a pretty popular um, series that I do and so if you've been looking forward to it welcome back I'm just as excited as you are but I'm also a little rusty like I haven't done metal smithing work really like this in a year like since this time last year so if anything doing this project helps me stay in touch with my roots which is metalsmithing anyway so um what i'm doing don't you want to know what i'm doing you're not even going to believe it but i'm going to do a tiny vice now i have made a tiny vice in the past but this one is going to be a different construction i'm gonna just start straight in the silver with this one so wish me luck hopefully we can make it happen but i'm going to be making a bench vice style vice and it is inspired by one that i've seen made on the internet many times but i think it was originally made by our very own you know him you love him jason from fireball tools he's a huge influence to me and my husband and i really enjoy watching his videos so when i saw him make this vice i thought i can make that i think i, I think i can make that and so if you actually look on youtube there's quite a few other people that have made this style of vice as well but this is going to be the only one that's going to be small and in sterling silver so you can see I have kind of like a chicken scratch plan that I drew on my lunch break at work. And so it's got some different components, but so there's a, this is a, a square tube or like a rectangle tube with the one side of the jaws on it. And that will fit inside this other square tube or rectangle tube. And this tube needs to be big enough to fit this threaded rod so I've got my materials like right now it just looks like a pile of scrap metal because that's what it is but this is going to be my threaded tube and it's going to have an end cap that I might bolt onto here I prefer to bolt things on because at, in the bolting process, you're less likely to melt it all into a puddle. <laughs> so I enjoy bolting things together if it's at all possible. So this rectangle tube is going to have to be big enough for this round tube to fit into. And then, you know, these plates will be soldered on the sides. Like this will all make sense. Probably, I don't know when it will make sense, but it will. And then, um, you know, for the actual actuating mechanism, I've got this wire that I'm gonna straighten out and I'm gonna use a 632 die. And for the tube, I have this 632 tap. Look at that. Looks great, huh? And um, I've like got some other accoutrement, um, some other rando kind of tubey thingies. And this is another tube that I might end up using for the like end caps because I, I also like to bedazzle my tiny silver tools. And so that's where we've got some CZs uh, that I think are gonna give it a little extra special something or other. Um, and then this is the sheet, which, so I looked to see if I could source rectangle tubing 
And you can't source, I can't find rectangle tubing, but I could find square tubing, but the square tubing wasn't big enough to fit this tube inside of. Like it was either the same size or so, I can't remember, but it just wasn't gonna be big enough for this to fit inside of it. And so that means I gotta make it from scratch, um, which I guess is fine. <laughs> Anyway, so this piece of silver sheet, you can actually see where I cut out my last tiny tool, which was a tiny three-way clamp. If it, you know, and the video for that, the video series for that is is online. So if you uh, want to see that struggle, <laughs> I'll link the playlist in the corner, but also I'll put a link to the playlist in the description box in case you want to watch. But anyway, so. This sheet right now is clocking in at, it's like clocking in at 13 gauge, which is, you know, I, I think I wanna make it out of maybe 16 gauge would be a good, I mean, it'll be thick, but I'd rather have it thick because you can always take away material. So the first thing, the very first thing that I gotta do is I gotta roll down this material with the rolling mill to get it to size and that'll also elongate it. I'm probably gonna cut this off because that's gonna be crazy if I don't. And I'm um, gonna have to cut, so if I'm making two rectangle tubes, that means it's gonna be eight strips of sterling silver. And the second tube, the larger tube, I'm just gonna have to I think I'm gonna make the inner tube, the inner rectangle tube first, and then off of those dimensions, I'll be able to make the outer rectangle tube that sleeves in. But either way, I've got a lot of work to do. So without any more procrastinating, let's get to work.
So I'm going to turn off all the cameras and I'm going to just cut out the next two and get them ready because it's not worth like you don't want to watch that like it's what you just watched I I don't want to waste the card space or the battery life so uh, I'll catch back in with you after I have them cut and like solder I'm gonna solder them together okay love ya hi okay I finished making them and I'm gonna start soldering them which is probably going to be one of the hardest parts of this project. So I've already set up one of them. So join me over by the soldering station because we still got to put flux on it and the solder pallions and uh, just like, we're just barging in to this project. Like, All right, well, it's not half bad. And so here it is, the two pieces. Like I made sterling silver angle iron. That's what I just did for the past five and a half hours. They look like this. Um, they're pretty square. You know, I took out this. It's just like a mandrel. Like I have a set. Because who doesn't? Anyways. And so this is, you know, a 90 degree block. And so one of them turned out really well straight out of the gate. 
and then another one. I don't know. Now I've got them mixed up, but they're both at the same. <laughs> they're both at the same spot now. They're tied. And yeah, so one of them I had to hammer to like make it work a lot and to kind of close. There was like it was soldered, but there was also kind of like a gap, if that makes any sense. So I hammered it closed. And so now if the solder does reflow, it's not going to open the seam. It's just going to reflow in a tighter crevice. It kind of looks like aluminum a little bit. It's not aluminum, but it kind of looks like that a little bit. Yeah, see? And so it's soldered like all the way down on the inside. And then you can see I, I, I was, I switched to this brass hammer because I thought that the brass hammer, but I, the thing is, you know, I, I, when I was rolling down this sheet at the beginning of the session, I was rolling it down to 16 gauge because I wanted to have enough material that when I have to hone it in and get rid of all the scratches and all the solder slop and the seams and everything, like I'm gonna have plenty of material to work with and not have to be worried that I'm gonna file or sand through the material. And so I've got plenty of, I'm, I'm tired, so I may have been being a little rash, <laughs> a little, unreasonable but there it is does that look like a rectangle originally I had wanted it to be six millimeters by nine millimeters and so I cut a six millimeter strip and a nine millimeter strip forgetting that I should have added the thickness of this material and the thickness of this material so basically double the thickness of the sheet I should have added that to nine millimeters instead of just cutting the strip at nine millimeters but then it was too late and and it still is a rectangle I mean the the point of it being five millimeters is so that the tube will fit in there and it totally does like this could be a square and so at that moment I just decided it's fine and so the like probably the la last thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to solder this together and I think I'm going to do it in two passes just going to do one side and then pickle it and then do the other side because it's too much you can't be on both sides at the same time maybe if I was younger and more rash <laughs> but yeah Okay, let's do that.
she's still got it. Hey, okay, it looks not so bad. Look at that. So it's all soldered up and pretty much ready to go. I don't like have anything else to say besides like I think it's solid. I think it's soldered solid through. Um so I just gotta clean it up. I'm I don't know, I might start doing that. Just you know, I have to file because I have to have this one in its kind of final form before I can make the outer rectangle tubing. Because I need to know the dimensions. So I may, I don't know, it's getting kind of late, so I may do that a little bit, but I also may just start with that tomorrow, <laughs> but that's it for today. So thanks for tuning in and sticking it out with me, keeping me company in my studio. It definitely keeps me motivated knowing that I'm filming this to then show you and get your feedback and hopefully entertain you a little bit so you can see how I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, but that's all for now. I'm pretty fried. Um, like I'm stressed. I'm a little bit stressed about this project, so we'll see. We're going to see how it goes. Um, uh, but I can't wait to keep on working on it, uh, when I'm fresh and have more energy. All right. But other than that, have a good night and I love you. Okay. Bye. Mwah! Howdy folks and welcome back or something like that. Let's just see, what do I look like? Oh, okay, not bad. Uh, <laughs> it could be worse. Hello, welcome to the YouTube stuff. <laughs> So originally I had wanted it to be, is it gonna focus? What's it even, what are you even focusing on? Thanks for sticking it, sticking it in. <laughs> for Thanks for tuning in and sticking it out with me.